All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we have something I'm excited to show you guys. We are planning on putting one of these in the strap that this neck is for. And for those of you who haven't seen, this is the this is the body, but I also bought this. This particular one I kind of bought as a trial piece. And we're going to stick this in my baby blue strap. So this is from Obsidian Wire. These guys are based out of New Zealand. So what I wanna do is a little unboxing. I already took it out of the package already. So this is what it comes in. It comes in this nice box. It's got your model number that you ordered. So this right here is a Strat Blender. So Strat Blender 250K ohm. So this is what it looks like when you get it comes in this nice um, case with this nice little plastic or, or it might be metal. I'm going to have to pull it out and look at it. So let's pull this out and look. Hopefully you guys can see all this really good. I got some new studio lighting to help make it a little easier. So it comes on this, um, I don't know, looks like it could be a, yeah, it's like an icy chip kind of plate. So everything is neatly soldered into here. You've got a little play with this. So everything is mounted to this plate and soldered on. This is your um, little RC circuit over here. So as you turn down your volume, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose your um, treble. Also known as a treble bleed circuit. So everything is wired here. All you have to do is stick your pickups in here, which looks like the book is right in here. So you stick your pickups and your output jack in through in here in the correct um, thing. Your ground lug is right here for your bridge, if you can see that. So this ground lug just unscrews. You stick your bridge ground right in there. Nice and neat, everything is all in one package. Let's put this back in here correct way, the way it was. Okay. So also included in this box, this feels like it's all your hardware. And this nice little, yeah. And there you go. You can see you got all your, your mounting hardware your nuts and washers, and then your two screws for the um, five-way switch. And then, I didn't even realize this when I ordered it, but it looks like that's a nice switchcraft um, thing, and that one already has the, the nut and the washer on it. So all you're gonna do is stick these inside this little thing, so we'll figure out how that works when we put it together. Um, so over here, these, these are about $80 which is not bad. It's about the same price as um, most of the other manufacturers sell theirs for. Oh, and it even comes with two picks. I was wondering what else was in there. So you get two free picks also. So not bad. You can't even see those on black. So let's move this over. So you get your picks, all your hardware, input jack, or output jack, depending on how you look at it. Nice little box. You got your instructions right here. So we were gonna we are gonna install this in, so it shows you how to where to put your leads and which one goes where. So we'll go through this, I guess, as we're installing it. And it has the different ones for depending on if you've got a traditional strat with a custom blender. So this right here is the blender the blender version. So basically you put this in, you've got your volume, you get your tone, and then you've got your blender, which is basically more or less a bridge volume. So as you're playing, you can blend in that bridge no matter what position you're in. Obviously when you're in the bridge position, it's on. And then I don't think this matters at all. It might just adjust the volume a little bit, but Basically, you can go to the, you know, have your neck position, 
blend in blend in your bridge so cool option so i'm excited about putting this in so the next part of this video we'll be putting it in but let me show you what is on the strat first so you can kind of see why i got this so for those of you who have not seen strat hope we can get it in the picture here we're gonna have to move this stuff off to the side a little bit so i kind of had the same idea with this strat when i put it together so this tape is here just because for those of you who own strats you should have a spring in here and some of them even have the ball which i actually have that right here and they tend to fall out so the ball goes in first then you put the um then you put your spring and then when you screw your well, i just happen to have it right here when you screw your arm in the thing is not all flopping all over the place so you bring it down you tighten it just a little bit and then you can move it wherever you want and it has that tension and it's not let's back it off a little bit so it's not just like as you're playing it's not just flopping all over the place some people like that and they like to be able to grab it and just do that and then flop it out of the way i like mine just a little bit tighter like right about here i can kind of move it but yet it still has that tension so that that spring in there has it and they sell them on the fender website if you want them so anyways back to this the reason why we're replacing this with the obsidian wire i'll, I'll put a link in the um, description below what's going on with this one is it's it's cutting out this is an old old wiring that i reused repurposed so what's happening is when i turn this up i'm getting all this noise and it's cutting out at full volume and then it's it's just getting bad and this this potentiometer has probably been was probably in one of my other strats for at least 10 years or so so it's time to replace it and even the even the tone one is kind of getting bad i've cleaned them out so this one i have set up with two 2011 uh, Fender Strat standard pickups. This is, I've talked about this before, I believe it's a F um, Seymour Duncan Custom Shop Texas Hot Alnico 2. Um, and you can see it's colored a little different and everything. So I have this set up with a single tone for everything. And then this runs the bridge pickup so if I'm in this position I flip this now I'm in the tele middle position if I keep that on I go back here now I've got all three pickups if I go to here it's the middle in this which is the same as as this one so it doesn't doesn't really matter once you get once you get past where this is turning on it's not going to matter you go to this position, this switch doesn't matter because your bridge your bridge is already on. So, and obviously in the bridge position, it doesn't matter what, what position this is in because your bridge is already on. So you can get, you know, seven tones out of this. But one of the things I noticed is if I'm in this position and I flip this on, sometimes it's a little too bright and I can reach down here and turn it up, but then this gets darker and then this gets a little darker too, so it, it, it's it's a little bit harder to maintain. So what I want to have is that blender in this position. And then if I'm in here I can, and I want to brighten it up just a little bit, I can slowly add this in instead of having it full off or on. So that's the difference. So we're going to take this apart. And then we're going to put in this new blender and I'm probably going to replace this jack. I got to see what kind of jack I have in here. I forget which um, what jack I have in here, but if it's not a... Um, good quality one we will replace it more than likely it is a it, it is a good quality because that's usually what I put in here I believe I, I bought some um, CTS's or whatever or a CRL or something like that so let's get this thing apart and then we will replace this whole setup right here with a new obsidian wire
Okay, so we're finally back. Wow, that was um, actually kind of painful, guys. Um, for those of you who are under the impression that this is, as they say on here, plug, play, and enjoy, um, just be prepared. And nothing against Obsidian. This thing so far, I mean, it looks really great. It was pretty easy to plug into. They have really good instructions and everything. So on here, it shows you, if you can see that, hopefully you guys can focus in on that, um, exactly how to hook up the wires. This is exactly how you do it. This is the one that I have, so this is exactly how I wired it. The problem was with this guitar, it had nothing to do with Obsidian. These pickups, this guitar I built, for those of you that don't know, who haven't, um, maybe have not watched my channel before or anything. So this guitar I built, I bought this body um, from, what is that, um, Stratosphere. And it came with, uh, you know, the bridge and the um, input jack and the neck plate and stuff like that. And then I bought this neck from Warmoth. Custom ordered it, or actually, it was it was sorry, it was already in one of their it was already in their um one that was already done their in stock ones. So I put this together. But the problem is, is these pickups in the front I bought used for another guitar, and I took them out of that guitar. And they had cut both of the the ground wires short. Because when I put them in, usually I just wrap the ground wire. You know, I'll loop it around and then tie, excuse me, tie it off with a wire tie. Well, these were cut short, so I actually had to add wire onto them. And, you know, do some other stuff to get this thing to, to fit. Also, I had an issue with the, the, neck, the neck pickup, which, like I said, has nothing to do with, with Obsidian. The, um... I gotta adjust this pickup too, sorry. Um, the kit actually is really great. I mean, I showed it to you guys, but you guys saw it before I put in, put it in. Also, I gotta find my other um, toe knob, which I took off. It's somewhere probably in my toolbox or whatever. So we're just gonna go through a couple of quick tones on this. I, I fired up my my amps and stuff like that. So we're kinda gonna, gonna kinda go just through a couple tones and we're gonna add in this blender thing and figure this thing out. I, all I did was I, I did a test earlier. Still fairly in tune. I just changed strings and everything because once you, this thing has locking tuners. Once you pull them off, you pretty much destroy everything. So let me get these amps fired up. And then we'll go through some tones. So we'll just do a, start off with a clean tone. Hopefully you guys can hear this. Let me unplug my um, lapel mic. Or you know what, I'm gonna lay it down. Maybe you guys will be able to hear it better. So we're gonna go through a clean tone. Oh, it would help if I don't have it on mute. So hopefully you guys can hear this. That's on the neck pickup. And that's with the tone all the way up. Then we're gonna go to, now we're gonna go to both. This is middle pickup. This is bridge and middle. That's bridge. Okay, now we're gonna go to neck and we're gonna add the blender in.
You can hear the difference, yeah? That's with the blender off. That's with the blender for the bridge in. You can hear it gets brighter. Then we'll go to this. Um, this is actually going to be all three. And then after that, it basically goes back to your standard strat. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we can I can do some more tones maybe maybe later on actually play through a song, but I got to stretch these strings and do some other stuff. So and I got to find my other tone knob. So that'll be for another day. But all in all pretty happy this this kit is really really good. Um highly recommend them. Like I said, just be careful hopefully your you know, ground wires for your pickups were not cut short and you can actually reach this thing. They, I, I probably had to add, well, actually I have um, one of the ones right here. So this is, this is about how much wire I had to add on in order to reach the, the assembly because it's actually, um, in the guitar, it's actually like kind of right over here by the tone. So instead of just going to the volume pot, where most of your grounds go it's now now it's got to come over here right by the um by the five-way switch so that's that extra you know a few inches of wire that it needs so definitely recommended highly recommended for the price you know you can't really beat it and of course you could you know i could have always soldered you know onto the volume pot but that kind of defeats the whole purpose i wanted something that you know i could um, swap pickups and pull out easy if I, you know, ever had to. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully we'll, we'll get some, uh, some real tones actually playing a, a song later on. Um, uh, probably the next, what I'll do is the next, um, playthrough of a song that I do, I will use this guitar and then you guys can kind of hear what this blender sounds like, but pretty happy with it. I mean, it, it definitely adds some sparkle to that neck pickup. You know, it gives you that nice some nice sparkle to it. Anyways, Aloha, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We will see you on the next installment. Aloha.